This video shows how to set up and use the uh, servo controller that's on this circuit board. There are a number of components on it that are important. First of all, there are two potentiometers, one here and one here, that are used to adjust the position of the uh, servo motor during setup. There is a trigger button over here which you would use to connect to a reed switch or to a push button to start everything. The servo itself connects down here to these three pins and over here is a jumper, a set of two pins and you can put a jumper on that when you want to uh, make adjustments to the uh, position of the system. Now I have the same thing set up over here and just as a quick demonstration I can press the button and the spout of the water tower goes down, it pauses for a few seconds, that is adjustable and it goes back up again. Uh, a couple things that can be done quite easily with that particular setup. If I want it to go up and down more rapidly, the left hand potentiometer, I'll adjust that a little bit, now it goes down, pauses for a shorter period of time and goes up. As a matter of fact, I can turn it all the way to the left and when I press the button it goes down, nope, right back up again. Let's make it at least a half a second or so in between. The other potentiometer, which is kind of hiding behind the, uh, uh, the servo uh, plug, adjusts the speed. You'll note right now the speed is, I don't know, I would call it medium speed for a servo. If I wanted to speed it up, I can turn that clockwise, and you can see how much more rapidly it goes. And if I turn it all the way the other way to the left, now it's going down quite slowly again pausing for that time and then back up again. Alright, to make the adjustments um, to the position of the servo, let's say we wanted the, the water spout to go from down to up rather than up to down uh, when you press the button. Put the jumper on the uh, programming pins and you'll notice that the, uh, the LED stays on pretty much solid. It blinks occasionally just to tell you that it's alive and I'm using the first potentiometer to adjust it Let's say we want it to start horizontally positioned. I'll, there we go. Let's make that about horizontal. And if I press the button, you'll see the LED now goes somewhat dim. And I use the other potentiometer to adjust the upper position. Let's say we wanted that to be at a 45 degree angle. So we've got the first position. I can go back to that by pressing the button being about horizontal. The second position being at about a 45 degree angle. Let's remove the jumper and I'm going to adjust the time back because keep in mind that the, the potentiometer that adjusts the uh, first position also adjusts the time and you need to get that down a little bit. Okay, let's push the button. Goes from horizontal up to 45, pauses for a couple of seconds and then back down again. I'll do that again. Horizontal to 45 and then back down again. Again, the right hand pot I can use to adjust the speed let's say we wanted that to go really slowly and then back down and the left hand potentiometer is used to adjust the amount of time between the uh, the two motions 